Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the difference between normal distribution and skewed distribution. So the first difference between normal distribution and skewed distribution is based on the symmetry. A normal di distribution basically refers to a bell-shaped curve that is symmetric around me. So normal distribution is represented by a curve basically that is looks like a bell and it is symmetric around the mean. It means that the data is uniformly distributed on both sides of the mean while in case of skewed distribution the curve is asymmetric asymmetric means that the that the values are not evenly distributed on both sides of the mean so it means they differ in their symmetry or they, you can say in their shape based on the values in the data it means if in normal distribution we have the values that are evenly distributed around the mean while in skewed distribution, we have the values that are not evenly distributed around the mean. Let's have a diagram of both the distributions so that you can easily have the uh, idea uh, of how uh, they are symmetrical and how, uh, how normal distribution is symmetrical and how skewed distribution is asymmetrical. So let's have a diagram in the second difference so that you can easily distinguish between them whenever you came across their curves. So here I will uh, draw it as this is mean and it is clearly uh, shown here that uh, this is a normal curve. This is a bell shaped curve as its shape looks like a bell and it's it and all all the values are evenly distributed around the mean. It means this side and this side are mirroring each other. So this is a normal distribution and in normal distribution more values tend to be around the mean while in case of skewed distribution let's have we have two different diagrams in the skewed distribution let's see one will be like this and the other will be like this so these are two different types of skewed distributions this is called a negatively skewed distribution and this is called the positively skewed distribution so in both the diagrams it is clearly shown that the data is not evenly distributed around the mean here the mean will be somewhere at this place. In this diagram, the mean will be somewhere at this place. So it means that data is not evenly distributed on, on around, around the mean or on both sides of the mean. So this is how they differ in their curves. Another difference between them is in normal distribution, we have mean equals to median equals to mod. It means all these value will be values will be equal in the normal distribution while in case of the skewed distribution it is not so they are not equal but how they uh, uh, how they will be in negatively skewed distribution we will have a mean that will be less than median and median will be less than mod this will be the case in case of in negatively skewed distribution while in positively skewed distribution we will have a mod that is less than median and median will be less than mean so this is the main difference between them if we see in their graphs in the normal distribution we will have here mean that will be equals to median that will be equals to mod and all of them will be equal but here in negatively and positively skewed distributions we will have mean at one place then at the other we will have median and then at the other place we will have mod same is the case for positively skewed distribution if i write here the positively skewed distribution in which mod will be less than the median and median will be less than the mean so here we will have mod then we will have median and then we will have mean so this is how they differ in mean median and mod another different difference between them is tails of the distribution so these are the tails of the distribution and in normal distribution the tails extend equally so i can write here that tails extend equally while in case of skewed distribution it is also clear from their diagrams that tails here the tails are if i see in the in their curves that the tails are not extended equally here one tail is extending more than the other one tail extend more than the other in both the cases in both negative and positively skewed distribution normal distribution is more common as compared to the skewed distribution it is more common while skewed
skewed distribution is less common as the normal distribution is more robust and it is easier to interpret the data if it is if the data it is easier to interpret the data if it is normally distributed so i'll write q distribution is less common so if we consider their examples in normal distribution we have uh, uh, the general examples of height now why how you can say that the we have the example of height how you can say that the height uh, have a distribution that is actually normal if we draw a normal distribution curve then it is very common that the average height of uh, if if i for example if i take the average height of the woman here we have the mean so there are more women who are having the average height as compared to the women having the short height and the women having the tall height you can say very short or very tall so mo more data is tends to be around the mean in case of the height while it will be while it will decrease as we move away from the mean in either direction either towards the short or towards the tall so we can say that height is having a normal distribution while in case of skewed distributions we have an example of the distributions like for example if i take the example of a positively skewed distribution the example will be the income in a population then how you will uh, come to know that the income is a uh, Uh, positively skewed distribution for example if i draw here this is the graph of positively skewed distribution in in as we know that in positively skewed distribution we have a mean at this place and the mod median and then the mod so it means there are very few people that actually have a salaries or the income that is very high that is the income of the executives while there are more people having the income that is less or average so it means that the in income in a population is not normally distributed you cannot say that the most of the people have the average income most of the people are having the income that is around the average so this is how it is positively skewed this is about positively skewed distribution but when we consider the reaction time the example of the reaction time you will came across it as well it will be negatively skewed because this is a mean then we have a median and the mod there are more people if we move towards here who have the reaction time the who have very high reaction time and very few people who have less reaction time so we can say that the reaction time is also negatively skewed and we cannot say that the reaction time is a normal distributed distribution because we cannot say that most of the people have the average reaction time or most of the people tends to be around the average in, in terms of reaction time so it will be negatively skewed so this is how they uh, differ from each other another important uh, important difference is the normal distribution is basically uh, less sensitive to outliers i have given you the idea of outliers in my lectures so it is less sensitive to outliers that ju uh, just make it more robust and while skewed distribution if i write its seventh point it is more sensitive more sensitive to outliers outliers are basically the extreme values that makes the entire data you can say uh, um, uh, not reliable or you can say uh, from which we cannot extract valuable information so that's all from today's lecture this was all about the difference between the normal and skewed distribution hope so it will help you thank you